What I'm going to talk about in this video today is a subject that I didn't really want to talk about, but I think it's time to talk about it. And what it is, is 13 stepping in the rooms of Alcoholics Anonymous. That's what I'm going to talk about. If you've heard about it, or if you know about it, or you don't know about it, stay tuned, because this brief video is going to fill you in what it's all about, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe? Take another second and hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. The term 13 stepper has been around for years. I've been in the program of Alcoholics Anonymous for 31 years now, and it's been there a long, long time. I think the term was coined back in the 70s. Basically what a 13 stepper is, and what they do is they're great at manipulating. They're, they're, they're manipulators 101. And what they do is they have a good knowledge of the steps, the traditions, the working of Alcoholics Anonymous, and they may see a newcomer that they're attracted to. Both men and women do it. It's more prevalent that men do it, but women do 13 stepping too. And they take that knowledge of the steps and the traditions and the working of Alcoholics, Alcoholics Anonymous, and what they do is they use the steps and they use the traditions and their knowledge of the program to get sex or have or start up a romantic relationship with a newcomer. That's basically what it is. They are predators. They are alcoholic, anonymous, manipulator predators. And I speak totally negative about it. I've seen it happen in AA rooms and I can't stand it. I know people who are well respected in AA that are nothing but sexual predators, 13 steppers. That when somebody comes in to the rooms of Alcoholics Anonymous, both male and female, they don't come there because their life is great. They're emotionally, mentally, and spiritually vulnerable. They cling to comfort. They cling to a calming voice, somebody who, who can lead them on in their recovery and understands them. So they're completely vulnerable at that situation. And these 13 steppers or these social predators pick up on this and they use their knowledge and their maturity, so, so called, in the program to find their way into these people's lives mentally and emotionally. It's wrong to me, it's emotional, it's emotional mental rape, and it shouldn't happen. If you see this happening in the rooms of Alcoholics Anonymous, it's your duty to put a stop to it. And if you're doing it, if you're going to meetings to try and find a mate or take advantage of people who are very vulnerable in early recovery, you, my friend, need to stop that too. Because that is not right at all. It's harmful and all those things. I don't have to go on about it, people watching this video. I've seen it a number of times. I've seen women run, get literally run out of the program because they've been manipulated. The males have become very aggressive with them over supposed to be love relationships that maybe they had in their head or whatever it is and leave the program. That is why nowadays you have groups in Alcoholics Anonymous that are just strictly for women to stop the nonsense that men are doing to them and also that women are doing to men. There's men's groups too, but mainly it is men doing it. So let's put a stop to this. If you know friends of yours or people in Alcoholics Anonymous that are talking about getting a hot date or using their manipulation skills to pick up somebody in the program, you need to put a stop to that. You need to put a stop to that. To me, it's emotionally and it's mental rape. That's all it is. So go to the program and enjoy the recovery life, enjoy it, and let other people have a safe, calm, and free environment where they can share, experience, and grow with the 12 steps, the same grace that you had when you entered it. The same, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? Take another second and hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. God bless, Merry Christmas. It's like spring here in Ottawa, Canada. It's unbelievable, the weather, but I'll take it. 
We usually get a heck of a lot of snow, and right now we have pretty well zero, if you can tell by the camera. Ciao for now, God bless, and remember, sobriety is freedom. Sobriety is freedom. Ciao for now.